Our clients would describe our work as centered around them. Our firm philosophy is that we are very client-centric. We don't have a just universal Laura U style. All of our projects really resonate with being classic, having a lot of contemporary elements, very sophisticated. We have a strong use of color. There's kind of some edgy elements in most of our projects. We're light, bright, bold, and contrasting. And a little dose of moody drama here and there yeah. is never a bad thing. We love a romantic moment. We're collaborative. We're a collective, and that means there are many brains on their project instead of just one. I'm Laura Umansky. I'm the founder and CEO of Laura U Design Collective. I'm Shannon Smith, Director of Interior Design at Laura U Design Collective. Our firm is based in Houston, Texas. Today we are in Houston, Texas at one of our projects in University Place. West U is a beautiful place. It's its own nook. It's its own incorporated city right in the middle of Houston. The homeowners are California transplants. They moved to Houston with their young daughter and they really wanted their Houston home to feel California, coastal, just really comfortable and serene. Welcome, come on in. As soon as you walk in, you are greeted in the foyer, which really sets the tone for the home. You'll see this beautiful texture across all the walls of the foyer. We've done this gorgeous Philip Jeffries silk wall covering. And from there, we'll move to the study. In the study, we've got this gorgeous smoky blue paint. So this is something we like to do to really make the space more elevated, more masculine. We've got these great doors that will close off for privacy. And this really sets that coastal tone. You can see he's got some of his previous artwork from Pebble Beach. And then again, we just integrate great textures with the decorative lighting, the lamp, planter, just woven throughout. In the formal living, again, we've repeated that gorgeous textural wall covering. This is again from Philip Jeffries. Drapery detail with that texture trim edgy, interesting chairs. We always like to do a pop of interest in every space. And then on the sofa, we have a family-friendly Krypton fabric. It is a little more elevated, a little more adult-friendly room, but we still opted to do family-friendly fabric. So if the kids come in, they can certainly pile on the chairs, sofa, and we don't have to worry about the fabrics. So in a formal space, especially one with this gorgeous silk wall covering, you don't want your standard, typical light switch. You really want to elevate all the details matter. So one of our favorite tricks is introducing this Lomax and Forbes light plate. So you can see it's got an acrylic plate that covers the wall covering, lets that still shine through. These beautiful brass details, so you've got the toggle switch, you've got these dials and it really just elevates the room and gives it just a polished look without an obtrusive traditional switch. We are in the dining room, and so one of the elements that we incorporated from the client's previous home is this gorgeous table. So we definitely can incorporate existing pieces and give them new life. These chairs we did in this beautiful blue leatherette, so it's very easy to clean similar to the wall covering. So you'll see we've got this gorgeous textural, looks like silk, but it's actually vinyl. So it's cleanable if some wine, children, anything goes awry during dinner, easy to clean. And then again, introducing that texture element that we have throughout the home with the beautiful fixtures. This is something we like to do with dramatic statement lighting is do dual fixtures. So something unexpected beyond your just traditional single fixture. In the kitchen, so the first element you'll see is this really beautiful, softly plastered vent hood. So originally this was a massive stainless steel structure and had two large scale pendants flanking either side. So we really softened this up, getting away from the more French aesthetic, bringing it into that softer California coastal vibe. You can see we integrated a farmhouse sink. These cabinets were a really dark stained wood. So really to bring in that light brightness, we painted them white and that a statement contrast on the island. 
In the kitchen, we didn't really necessarily change any of the functionality, but really updated all the finishes cosmetically. So we needed to bring in that California coastal vibe. One thing we integrated that we really like to do in kitchens to elevate them is do panel fronts. So originally this was a stainless refrigerator. It's now blended in with the millwork and also has these really large scale brass poles. Uh, that's another trend. Another thing we like to do is mix metals. So you'll see we've got gorgeous brass poles throughout the kitchen. So now we're walking into the family room, which is really the heart of the home. You'll see throughout, we updated these floors to this warmer wood tone and pulled that through to the built-in. So we really did a lot of renovation work in here. Uh, this was a completely different fireplace and built-ins. So what we did is incorporate this beautiful wood frame, much cleaner fireplace mantle detail. I gave them these new built-ins. We actually completely dimmed this wall to give it this softer arch moving away from the traditional French that it had before and flanked it with floating shelves, mesh brass detail. And then again, we incorporated the hardware that you see in the kitchen over to the built-ins. And then one of my favorite chairs in the space are these behind us with a gorgeous rope detail and a camel leatherette to just really bring a lot of warmth to the space. This gorgeous statement fixture is really the star of all of our lighting throughout the home. When you're incorporating a dramatic fixture, one thing to think about is both the scale and the weight. So this has a really large overall scale, but it has a lot of lightness to it, a lot of movement. So it doesn't feel overpowering and doesn't feel heavy in the space. Another signature element is the floor covering. So we love to layer rugs, especially in a family room. So we've got a broad loom, so this really beautiful wool durable surrounding the room, and then layered this vintage Keelum rug on top of this. So we are now in the stair gallery. So this approaches from both the front door entry as well as the owner's entrance off the garage. So this is really a great landing space. We did this beautiful table. It's a great drop zone, really elegant statement accessories, stools, the clients can sit and put their shoes on on the way out the door. And then an additional element we incorporated was this gorgeous stair runner. So this is something that we do in most family homes. It really helps with sound absorption. As children are running up and down, pets, it helps them not to slip and slide. So it's a safety and also a sound enhancing trick. In the primary bedroom, you can see it's very serene, really soft palette. This is just a serene escape for the homeowners. On the second floor too, so it has a lot of privacy. And we've incorporated a lot of our favorite pieces and vendors in here. You've got, again, a beautiful statement textured chandelier. The headboard is large scale, really dramatic statement on the window wall. We've layered a lot of texture in here. So we have a gorgeous Maya Romanoff wood veneer wall covering. Again, all the details, the drapery all has that fine trim detail, soft goods with just a touch of the blush that's woven throughout the palette downstairs and bringing that up into the primary. The primary bathroom was definitely one of the homeowners areas of focus. So they definitely wanted to invest in the space. You can see all these gorgeous finishes throughout. So we updated counters, backsplash in this elegant marble tile, really large format, beautiful flooring, and then a brand new tub. So we really kept the bones just with the millwork, but updated all the finishes to give them that really elegant, really sophisticated primary bathroom. So you've got this gorgeous tub with the tub filler, a statement chandelier above. You'll see we have the shades for privacy. And then my favorite element is this Ann Sachs backsplash. Ann Sachs is a go-to for us all the time. Personally for me in my own homes and for our clients, our team loves Ann Sachs. I've been to their headquarters in Portland and actually met with their creative director and seen the innovative thought process, the creative that goes into all of their new launches and how some of their tried and true lines were developed. So I've seen behind the curtain and how things happen and it's really inspiring. So I feel good about working with them all the time. This is the Kelly Wurstler Liaison. It's a marble mosaic. 
and you can see it's got all these really beautiful colors. So that's what makes it really unique and special is you've got a lot of the blues and purples, which are really rare. It also brings in a lot of our warmth and just that overall clear, crisp, clean palette. You can see the overall lines are very simple, very clean. And then this is just your dramatic showstopper. We've got both his and hers that have that dramatic wall. And then it's also incorporated into the shower as a band that ties in with the backsplash. The end result of this project is a really cohesive story of California coastal moves to Houston. Everything has a common thread and it pulls that texture and tonal nature of our fabrics and uh, wallpaper and rugs through the entire home. And it creates a home that the homeowners are so excited to come home to and celebrate with their family.